There she sits. This bench is getting ready to get delivered back to its owner. Um, I think it came out pretty nice for what it is. It's had four coats of polyurethane sprayed on there and it feels as smooth as it looks. And that's one of the things I do go for when I refinish furniture. It's not about it looks, how it looks. Um, it's about how it feels. And it feels pretty dang smooth. In the back, she had me engrave her and her husband's name on there in the year they were married. And uh, I think that came all right. I'm glad it, um, we did it on the back side, like I suggested. She wanted it something marked on the side or something, and I thought, you know, that's not going to look well. Let's put it on the back. She just wants to put her name on there. So, yeah. Came out very nice. So, I love it. There you go, very nice. Where's that one? One of these I broke and glued back. Is that it? That is it. If you saw any earlier videos, I broke, I dropped this and broke that piece off right here. You can barely see where I glued them back together and then uh, sanded it to where it was perfectly, you know, just like before. Put a little bit of wood filler in there and yeah, you can barely see it, but it's right there, that crack. But you can't feel it and nobody's going to know except you and me. So yeah. Now, I did stain these a rich mahogany, and I was hoping to get some contrast against the uh, the walnut. There's a little bit there. You can see a little bit red. I, I kind of, in hindsight, wish the whole thing was mahogany. This is one of my favorite stain colors by Old Masters, uh, rich mahogany. And I use it, well, mostly for mahogany. But, uh, yeah. So, I'm going to load this on the truck and get it out. Another one knocked down.